Hello, everybody. It's me, Krendor, and it's that time of the year again. MU Online Nostalgia Trip time. That's right. It's time for another trip through MU Online to reminisce about the olden days. So come along. It's going to be fun. I've been doing this for like seven years now or something, and I really don't get tired of it. It's like going back to your old school or something, you know, just walking around and just being like, man, those were the days, right? So already... I hear that wind sound, you know what I mean? And that, oh man, that just takes me back. That generic wind audio sample. <laughs> uh, and speaking of that, let's go up to the blacksmith. Oh yeah. There it is. Let me just, there we go. Oh yeah. I could listen to this for like, maybe hours. <laughs> uh, in fact, I remember back in the day, just uh, like having an AFK character here and just having the like the blacksmith anvil just go off and off. And then I was just like chilling on the couch. You know what I mean? Like nearby. And so I had my headset off, but I could hear it from the headset. Yeah. So it was just like I was laying there kind of chilling and you just hear the cling, 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 cling from like a few feet away on the desk. Oh, man. Good times. So... Uh, let's go. Let's go take a walk around. Uh, I'm a magic gladiator. I actually know nothing about this game in the modern era. I should play it at some point just to like see how it, you know, see how it plays. But I know I don't know. I never really feel the urge to play it because it's. I guess it's how some people feel with classic WoW versus retail WoW. Probably. I'm just like, dude. I played this game like 20 years ago. Uh, hold on. Uh-oh, wait. There we go, we got meteors. Make the, yeah, there we go. I always remember this guy. Just selling some basic armor. Like, back when I played, I think it was beta. So I'm pretty sure it was 2003, I want to say. Um, maybe even 2002, I don't even know. Uh, and dude, like, this was all the armor you had. You had leather, you had bronze, you had scale, you had brass. You had plate, and then I believe dragon armor was like one of the best you could get. Uh, so, dude, evil spirit time. Oh, there it is. We need to go to the dungeon to truly uh, appreciate evil spirit, but uh, here's all the baby dragons, and you would always find the gold dragon as well. That was always fun, finding a gold dragon and getting some loot, uh, or just selling the box that you get. Uh, here's all the lich, the liches, and the skeletons. Um, this was always an area I kind of avoided, to be honest. But I remember the, the area I love going to is way up over here. Dude, I remember my character used to be, like, really good. I was like, yeah, I'm like a magic gladiator. I got, I got wings and stuff. Now it's like, that's probably something you get, like, in five hours of playing the game or something. I don't know. Uh, this was always a really cool building. I love going up here and like, you know, chilling around here. There's always these weird mutant hound men. This is like a fun roleplay building, you know? You like chill out here like, ah, yes, welcome to my cabin in the woods. Uh, then we go over here. I don't actually remember what was up here. What is this? More hounds. I do remember these, uh, what are they called? Bulls? Elite bullfighter. All right, straight, you know, <laughs> straight to the point. Uh, we go up. I think the giants are over here, right? I'm pretty sure the giants are up here. I don't think I've ever I've ever gone up this far in one of these nostalgia trips. Because uh, usually I go to the west is a is a zone I always used to go to, but I never really went up north. Unless maybe they changed this and now there actually is some crazy stuff up here. Let's see. Here's a tree stump. Sit here and look at some mushrooms. See over here. Uh, yeah, there's. I don't even know if there's anything up here, to be honest. Sometimes you could like go in here and there'd be like a different area, but I don't think there is. Um, but if you haven't watched any of these nostalgia trips I do, I, I started playing MU Online back then during the beta. <laughs> so, you know, about 20 years ago, which is insane to think about, but um, me and my friends. I don't even know how we found this game, to be honest. I think one of my 
you know, friends I played games with was like, yo, you should check out MU Online. And we were like, okay. So we started playing it. By the way, I never played an MMORPG prior to this game. Like, I, I had World of Warcraft didn't exist yet. Uh, I hadn't played anything like EverQuest or whatever, and uh, I didn't even really play any single-player RPGs, come to think of it. Uh, yo, the GOAT. But uh, I, I didn't even play Diablo, so, you know, this game obviously has taken some inspiration from Diablo, if you couldn't tell. But uh, I hadn't even played Diablo, so when I played Diablo, I was like, dude, it's like MU Online. <laughs> uh, which is kind of funny, but... I guess that's like how kids are today when they hear songs. They're like, dude, this song's so good. Even though it's like a, an old song, it's like they made the I'm Blue song. Like, I'm blue and I'm feeling all right. And I'm like, dude, that's the, the that's a shitty version of the old song. <laughs> but the kids here today, they're just like, hey, this is a cool song. So maybe that's how I felt back then. Um, but, you know, when you haven't played any type of game like this and then you play it for the first time, it, it really does blow your mind, you know? Here we go, get some evil spirit going, take down a giant. Uh, let's roll over here. Yeah, yeah, there's all the giants. Nice, so we got the little beach, which leads to Davios. Right over here, more giants. Woo! A lot of giants. I just want to see the Davios entrance. Yeah, here it is. Get the stone heads and everything. So, go in here. And we arrive in Davios, but I want to go here yet. So we're going to go to Noria first. I was like going to Noria. It's my second destination. So here we are in Noria. The elf land, if you will. Uh, here's the chaos machine. <laughs> the amount of... This was, a, this was a gotcha thing back before they even existed. You know, this, is, this guy is the OG gotcha. People with their, you know, Genshin impacts and stuff nowadays. Nah, dude. Chaos goblin. <laughs> <laughs> That's where it was at. Uh, then you had, you know, not Yoda. <laughs> Good old not Yoda over here. I don't even remember what he did, to be honest, but he was not Yoda. Oh, and then up here, there was, uh... God, what was up here? Isn't it like a little sitting area? Yeah, the little sitting area. And the elf that sells... Yeah, there's the, uh, the elf Lala. She sells the... Elf gear. Let's see. We had vine boots. Yeah, you'd start with vine and then silk and then wind. Oh my god. It's it's coming back. <laughs> the memories. Okay, then we go down here. You had the vault, obviously. And let's walk over this way. There's still a, an amazing amount of people that play this game, to be honest. Like, all the servers are packed. I don't know if there's, like, bots. Obviously, there's probably bots and stuff playing, but... There's more than I thought. There we go. Let's take out some of these. I always love the sounds of all these little bugs, too. I think that's what really brings me back, is the sounds of everything, you know? Uh, is this Hellfire? Oh, that's, like, Inferno, I think. Uh, which one's Hellfire? Auto-moving. I don't want to auto-move. I just want my skills. Friends. Where's my... Guild? I don't know what button does what, I'm not gonna lie. Yo, you can hit tab now and get the the map. You may have always been able to do that, but I was just dumb. Uh, we go up here. Oh, yeah, the little crossbow guys. Oh, love those crossbow guys. I'm just gonna go back to evil spirit. That was always the go-to spell. And up here. Uh, so anyway, I was very much addicted to this game. Uh, and then me and my friends would play, and I remember going to my friend's house, we were going to play, like, wiffle ball outside, and instead he was playing MU online, and our, everybody was like, get outside, and he's like, I'm farming blast. <laughs> These crazy, uh, Aegons. Let's see, up here. I think the golems are over this way, actually. Uh, they should be over this way. <laughs> Uh, is it this way? I think so. Yeah. There's the bee men, or I don't know what those things are. Weird bee creatures. Uh, more Aegons. More Aegons. Dude, where are the golems? They're definitely over this way, right? I'm pretty sure. Uh, but yeah, I'm curious to see how many people actively play this game. Like, it, it's... It's still pretty nutty, because they said 14-year anniversary when I opened the thing, but 
It's definitely been longer than that. They, they, the unofficial release, I guess, was, you know, years prior. Uh, let's go down. Mm. Yeah, it's like I said, this, it really does feel like when you go back to your old high school or college or whatever it might be, and you just walk around and you're like, oh, I remember, you know, Jimmy John's class, and I remember Mr. Smith's class, I don't know. And then... <laughs> I feel like this is the nerd version, though. I'm like, oh, man, I went back to Noria. I remember that tree. <laughs> like, listen, I probably spent more time here than I ever did doing homework, you know? Also, where are the golems? Maybe I'm just lost. Spiders down here. I always like going to this old uh, tree down here, though. It's where I always open my boxes of luck. Or whatever the other boxes were called. I can't remember. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Just out of here. Yeah, the tree. It's a great, great place to open your boxes. <laughs> uh, and I think right up here is how you get the at Atlans. It's Atlans, right? I think it is. Yeah, Atlans. I remember Atlans didn't even exist yet back when I first played this game. It was like one of the new zones coming out. And so I remember they had the area to get into Atlans up here, but they didn't actually have the zone implemented yet. Uh, so let's see, it's gotta be up here, I'm pretty sure. Well, I know it is, just unless they moved it. So, oh, here we go. This is it. I still haven't seen the golems. Oh! Just more Aegons. I can always check later. Oh, here it is! Yeah, you just like walk into the water. Bloop! And then boom, you're in Atlans, which, love this zone, by the way. This is one of the best underwater zones, because being underwater here doesn't really matter. There's no, like, breath timer. There's no uh, slowdown from being underwater. It's just, you're underwater. <laughs> and there's a nice underwater aesthetic. There's people just farming. Uh, and you just kind of, you know, chill out under here. Let's see. What is that? I don't even think I need that, but I picked it up. <laughs> that was always a fun thing, too. Like, other people AFK farming. And you could just try to, like, pick up their loot. <laughs> that was always fun. Uh, let's see. Going down here. Yeah, Atlans, you know. Atlans is Atlans. You can go to Atlans 2. You go to Atlans 3. Oh, this one's, like, a little bit crazier. So, uh, hold on. We, I need to find those, those golems. I'm pretty sure they're out this way. Oh my. What are those? What are those? All right. I'm pretty sure out here and then slightly northeast. I need to find these golems. The golems are an essential part of the nostalgia trip. Is it up this way? The other thing I think going back does is it really does kind of make you relive those times, right? It's not just about experiencing the game, but it's like remembering how you were back then, how much your life has changed since then. You know, it's it's like a spiritual experience, to be honest. Uh, which is why I just, even just taking in the sounds, you know? Where are these golems? <laughs> They've got to be up here. I'm like, unless I've lost my mind, I feel like even when I'm like 90 years old and my brain's like given out, you could like, there they are. You could play some of these MU online noises and my brain would be like, oh, I know those. I remember. There we go. Stone Golem. All right, we found it. Let me go to Davios now. Woo. All right. So Davios. Always a fun place. Just the, the snow area. So you had the, the vault there. Uh, you have this, this snowman. Fire, burst, fire, fire. That's that, that guy knows what he's selling. Fire, burst, fire, fire. Uh, you always had a little worm men here. There we go. We had the worms. Yeah, you get the Viking men. The blue Viking men. Hold on. They got to be up here, right? Uh... Blue. Oh, yeah, the ice creatures. Are, uh, they're literally ice monsters, what they're called. 
Uh, we go up this way. Whoa, oh, there they are, the Viking men. Ooh, ha, 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 ha. Ooh, ha, ha, ha. Oh, I need to check the Davios army, or armor because I think they have the wizard armor. And I played a wizard, so... Oh, there they are, the elite yetis. The elite yetis. I will say, you know, I also played on my fair share of non-official servers, hypothetically. <laughs> and, uh... Hypothetically, a lot of people, if they were on those servers, would probably be in these types of areas farming elite yetis and stuff. That was always a fun time. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> so this is a pretty fun, pretty fun place. Let, hold on, I gotta go back to Davios. I do want to see. I do want to see the armor. Uh, I believe it's down near the entrance. This way. This is always a fun building. This is where you'd go into that thing. God, what was it called? You would talk to this guy, and it was. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but you'd go and it was a big bridge. It was like. It was like the second Lord of the Rings or something. It'd be like, <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Uh, let's see. We got Karen the barmaid. Uh oh, Karen. Uh, you know, you saw your Archangel Scrolls, your ale, your blood bones. Uh, that's about it. <laughs> let's see. I think. Is it down here? No, this is just a empty area Dude, where was the armor wait did she sell the armor or is it someone else i'm pretty sure it was someone else also what is <laughs> people have like little cat men now what he's like swinging his baseball bat oh this is it here we are yeah wizard isabel here we go yeah the legendary armor that used to be amazing uh and then legendary staff gorgon staff Although she used to sell Sphinx armor. Maybe that's not even a thing anymore, or maybe it's just... I don't know. Yeah, right now I'm wearing Grand Soul armor, which I believe... And Dark Soul, which I think was right after Legendary? I don't even remember. But that's what I had. And then my Staff of Resurrection, my Wings of Heaven, Ring of Wind, Ring of Magic, Pendant. Uh, Okay, so let's go. I'm just going to warp it to Davios 2. I always like doing that. So here's the place you can have a wedding I guess uh, I don't think it used to have all this but then you go Davios 3 and this one is infested by yetis so <laughs> huzzah uh, so after that uh, let's go to the dungeon oh yeah that dungeon noise skeletons <laughs> Uh, more worm larva things. So obviously, what you normally did was you took your evil spirit wizard or magic gladiator. You came over here, used your teleport. You warped the wall. Uh, and then... Hold on, did I warp in the right spot? I think I did. Uh, dude, my, I think my brain might be going. Hold on. <laughs> Did I go to the right spot? Maybe I didn't. Oh, here we go. Oh, the ghost noises. Here we go. Now we're talking. And then, I don't remember if it was this area. No, it's this one. There's the traps. I just walked over. Yeah, right here. This is it. And you would just tape your mouse down and go to town. Set up your evil spirit camp. Very nice. Oh, man. This was a great time. Just going AFK. There's nothing like going AFK and not even playing the game. And then coming back and hoping you had loot. Uh, I mean, listen, enough games do that today anyway. This was like, you had to work for your AFK time, right? Now, you just like, even in this game, man, it's like auto move, you hit a button. Nah, back then, you gotta tape that shit down. <laughs> uh, I don't want this. Get that out of here. Robust armor. Alright, let's kill a couple more. God, even the evil spirit sounds. This brings you back. Alright, let's go dungeon two. So dungeon two, you'd always walk in. 
You got some ghosts. You got these weird cyclops guys. Uh, you had these worms. For some reason, I always remember being here and my mom being like, dinner's ready, and then I had to go eat dinner. That's literally what I think of every time. So I must have just been actively in an intense farming session. Uh, then... <laughs> We went to, let's see, Dungeon 3 was always a wild one. Because Dungeon 3, it had the Poison Bowls, you had the, the Thunder Zap, the got Wizard Men, I don't even know. You had the Dark Knights walking around. So many noises going on. <laughs> uh, and I think there was a big Balrog, or no, the Balrog's Lost Tower. There's some big Gorgon type guy, I think chilling in here. Hey, a ring of magic. Hey, people farming. Um, so yeah, in fact, I think if you go dungeon three and you walk backwards, right? Yeah, you walk backwards and then is it this way? No, that's another entrance to dungeon three. I think it's the other side. But if you go down this way, I believe there was a farming spot for the poison bowl area. If I'm correct in my geography of MU Online. Okay, maybe I'm not. Wait, maybe I am. <laughs> maybe it was down a little bit further here. Uh Alright, I'm not I'm not seeing it. I'm pretty sure it was around here though. It might just be uh I just I should have went the other way or something. But there was a poison bowl farming spot. Wait, is this it? I think this might be it. There's the spider women. I forgot about them. Uh. Oh, wait. This is it, right? This is it. Yeah, and there's people farming it right now. Let's go. Some things never change. All right. Then, uh. <laughs> so that was cool. Now we go to Lost Tower. Lost Tower used to be the, the end game. Like, Lost Tower is where you went at the end of the game. So I think that's what I always remember. And then they added in things like Atlans and they added in, uh, oh yeah, the crazy wizards. They added in, um, uh, God, Tar, Tarkin, that's what it was. And then I think Icarus. Ah! Whoa. <laughs> uh, they got the cows. Let's go Lost Tower four. They're at four or five. Oh yeah, the devils, they're always annoying. They zap you around. Was I in four? No, I wasn't. Yeah, here's the cows. I always remember these weird death cows. I just love how their names are just literally like death cow. I mean, it, and you know what? It checks out. They are, in fact, death cows. Hold on, let's see. These take a little bit to die. Uh, they actually gave me some decent experience. Yo, I'm like actually decently close to leveling. Uh, let's go Lost Tower 6. I think this is... Oh, yeah, you had the uh, Death Knights and then Lost Tower 7. This is the one. This is the one you always go to. You had the Devil here, a Death Knight, and then this was a farm spot. So there should be some people here. Uh, there's nobody here. But I do remember that was a farm spot. Uh, then you go up here. Some people farming up here, typically. You had the uh, Death Gorgons now. Getting a little wacky wild to uh, step on that thing. And then I think once you went in deep enough, that's when you got to the Balrog. So if we just... Oh, my Jiminy's. Nobody's here. <laughs> He's going to get hit by everything. Although, I guess not. Yeah, you cross this bridge of skulls and, like, flames are going up. And then... Oh, here they are. Well, <laughs> this guy is, like, anime girl. <laughs> uh, we'd go up here. Uh, the Balrog might even not be here. He's probably like dead or something. We can check. Uh, yeah, I don't think the Balrog's here, but ow, that actually kind of hurt. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that was Lost Tower. Always a good time, unless it wasn't a good time. Uh, and then I think Tarkin's actually one of my favorite places. Just this like space desert this creepy kind of uh, almost like 
lonely vibe to it or like this barren wasteland vibe to it just i love that musical it's not even music it's that sound right like listen like it really does sound like this creepy space desert i love it like they really did capture the aesthetic of it uh here's all the mutants <laughs> they go up a bit more Oh, we got the Pumbas. The Death Pumbas. There's a gold. Oh, my God. There's a golden uh, roly-poly man. I do not think I can kill him. Wait, there's numerous? Dude, there's numerous golden guys. I wish I was able to kill him, but I, I don't think I can. I can barely even kill the normal mobs. There's no way I'm going to kill these golden ones. But I don't even know if they're good anymore. They're probably like... <laughs> somebody probably sees that like, eh, whatever. Um, I just remember these drop jewels of life. Oh, yeah, that guy hit me and I lost a lot of health. <laughs> and we had the... What is that? Uh, I don't even know what that's called. A... Tantalos, that's what it is. I just love how they sound like windshield wiper... Or not windshield, but like window... Like your window going up and down in your car. <laughs> uh, and then we go up here. I think we go to Tarkin 2. Tarkin 2 is a little too crazy, I think. Oh, yeah, we got the insane... The crazy bats to kind of remind me of that guy from Kirby. The little Batman, you know? You know the one. Uh, See, so yeah, I, I always love Tarkin, man. Just a great zone. Really cool stuff here. Uh, But, yeah, that's that's Tarkin. Pretty much got the, the gist of it. <laughs> I think we got to warp out. Let me just go Atlans, then I can go Lorencia. Bop. And then back home to good old Lorencia with the, the dragon fountain, uh, the floating elephants. At this point, I have nostalgia for the floating elephants just from these nostalgia trips. Because <laughs> I always see them. Um, so yeah, that's that's the MU Online nostalgia trip this year. Hopefully you had a good time. I know I did because I always have a good time with these. So like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh... And, you know, show someone else that you played MU Online with this video so they can also relive that nostalgia. And you can also go check out my old nostalgia videos. Maybe I missed something this year that I put in the last ones. Who knows? But I got like seven years worth from them. And you can, you know, you go check them out if you want. I don't know. Whatever. Do what you want. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you next time. Okay. Okay. See ya.